I am a second year MSW student um, within the School of Social Work. All right, my name is Beverly Johnson. Um, I'm with Career and Professional Development Services, and I am an Associate Director here of Career Readiness. Um, hi, my name is Mark Riesi. Um, I live just outside Seattle, Washington with my wife, Carrie. My association with ASU, my son, Alec, uh, attends ASU. He's going into his senior year, and uh, he is a political science major. So I would say that the main difference between an internship and a summer job is that an internship should have a learning component to it. Um, a part-time job serves mainly as a way to earn money. And while there's a lot of valuable skills and career competencies that you can earn doing a part-time job, like I don't want to minimize the importance of those, an internship really should be geared towards getting a student some experience and some uh, some skills that are really valued in an industry that they're either looking to move into when they graduate or they're wanting to explore. It's a great way to explore like on a temporary basis if it's a kind of um, career that you want to aim for. Well, for me, the experience as an unpaid internship, you get experience in the field specifically um, in what you're interested, in, but also you get to explore different options of maybe potential careers that you have in mind. The answer is that honestly, each academic program in each school does it a little bit differently. And so if you're in a program where an internship is required, they may have some additional resources to help you find uh, places to get an internship. But for the most part, the student is gonna be responsible for finding an internship and getting that internship on their own. So Career and Professional Development Services will help anybody who's in that situation. Um, and I think a big part of of it is like coming up with your search strategy because most students don't come in knowing um, right away like where they want to do their internship. So that would be the part one is deciding like what is going to be a good fit for you. And then we can help you put together your application materials. So that normally looks like having your resume prepared, writing a good cover letter. And then the interview process is one of our most popular services because interviews are nerve-wracking like they're ner they make anybody nervous and so the more you can practice and prepare for your interview the more confident you can be going in you might be in uh you know down, down a career path um, that you think you might like and one of the things that internships can show you is what it's really like um, going to work for a company um, understanding a little bit more about, you know, the industry that you're going into, um, you know, could change your mind about what your, what your, what your plans are. Um, you might find that you love it and you're like, oh my God, this is exactly what I thought it would be. And I'm so excited. Or you, you might think to yourself, yeah, this isn't really what I'm interested in. You know, it's not what I thought. Um, you know, I've spoken with students and, and known folks that I've literally gone through a complete degree program, got a degree, got into the industry and realized they did not like it uh, and completely changed. Um, internships is a great way to know before uh, you wind up walking down the aisle if this is really what you want to do. But also a lot of students, those internships lead to full time jobs. Um, you know, that's that's the stepping stone um, to getting job offers afterwards um, you know, from those same companies that you do an internship with. I would say um, do some research into what organization you want to pursue. This kind of led to my internship, so what research do I need to do to secure this internship? Um, I need to know the organization, I need to know what their goals are, their mission is, and do those align with my own values and my own um, potential career trajectory. And so um, I think just really doing the research and doing the work and it is a little tedious I'm not gonna lie but um, if you do it right and you do it well I think it pays off and you know that time that you spent on that is rewarded with potentially securing an internship. Uh, people might underestimate the time that it takes um, to do this. So don't wait until like the semester you need your internship. You should be being thoughtful about that beforehand. I'm very fortunate because um, my mom really started to plant the seed probably when I was like in sixth grade. Um, having the talk about college and 
um, just letting me know that we didn't have funds to pay for college out of pocket. And so that was really the start of the conversation. Those conversations really started when I was probably sixth through eighth grade. And so then that led to her um, putting me in different um, programs. Just having um, that support, whether no matter what they're interested in, is really important. Like I said, the, the most successful applicants actually start about six months in advance. For internships, we're talking about like a semester in advance. So especially for those programs that you know an internship is going to be required, come see us, like encourage your student to come see Career and Professional Development Services early, encouraging them to be open-minded about um, their interests and maybe helping them to develop a search strategy and to really be tenacious about it and to not give up. You know, from a parent perspective, um, you know, my son, uh, you know, has applied for different internships. And for me, I think the, the most important thing that I felt that I offered was just support and encouragement doing it. And I, I think as, uh, you know, family members, just supporting them through that and encouraging them to, you know, not give up. Even perceived rejection is always hard for all of us. Um, and for, you know, students going into those things for the first time, uh, internships is that experience. It's no different than getting a job. Um, it's just a job for a few weeks uh, and, you know, so just providing a little bit of guidance, providing some encouragement, um, you know, to not give up, you know, and keep trying, um, you know, if you don't get it this, you know, uh, this semester, try again next semester, um, but just stay at it.